1 p.m. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Daman Zaman. The headlines. The nation is celebrating Independence Day as Kashmir Solidarity Day today to express full support to the Kashmiri brethren in their just struggle for right to self-determination. Addressing the flag hoisting ceremony in Islamabad, the president said India has not only violated the United Nations resolutions on Kashmir, but also threw the Shimla agreement into the dustbin. In occupied Kashmir, the Indian authorities have further tightened the strict clampdown ahead of India's independence state tomorrow to prevent demonstrations against its decision of revoking Article 370. The Afghan president says the United States and the Taliban have completed peace talks and, and are expected to sign a peace agreement soon. And now the news in detail. The 73rd Independence Day of Pakistan is being celebrated today with national zeal fervor as Kashmir Solidarity Day to express full support to the Kashmiri brethren reeling under the Indian repression. The day dawned with special prayers and mosques after Pajar prayers for peace, progress and prosperity of the country and liberation of the occupied territories of the Muslims. A 31-gun salute boomed out in the federal capital in Islamabad this morning, while a 21-gun salute in all the four provincial metropolis, Gilgit and Muzaffarabad. Radio Pakistan has made elaborate arrangements to mark the day in a befitting manner. The News and Current Affairs channel of Radio Pakistan is airing special marathon transmission from 7 a.m. to 12 midnight tonight. The President, Dr. Arif Alvi, has reiterated Pakistan's commitment to always stand by the Kashmiri brethren in their just right to self-determination. He was addressing as the chief guest at an impressive flag hoisting ceremony at the Jinnah Convention Center in Islamabad today in connection with the 73rd Independence Day of Pakistan. The president said we are for Kashmiris and they are for us. He said the plight and affliction affect us. The president said immediately after India's unilateral steps on Kashmir, the government of Pakistan suspended bilateral trade with India, downgraded diplomatic relations, and decided to take the issue of Kashmir to the United Nations Security Council. Dr. Arif Alvi said India has not only violated the UN resolutions on Kashmir, but also through the agreement of Shimla into the dustbin. The Indian act of changing the status quo contravenes the Shimla agreement. The president urged India to stop its brutal treatment of Kashmiris, grant communications access to the people, and restore civic and social liberties of the people of the occupied territory. Mashal Malik, wife of incarcerated Hurriyat leader Muhammad Yasin Malik, recited a beautiful poem on Kashmir written by her on the occasion. The Azad Jammu and Kashmir Legislative Assembly special session on the occasion of the 73rd Independence Day of Pakistan began in Muzaffarabad a short while ago. The Speaker Shah Ghulam Qadir is presiding over the session. Prime Minister Imran Khan will address the special session to express solidarity with the oppressed people of occupied Jammu and Kashmir. In occupied Kashmir, the Indian authorities have further tightened the strict clampdown ahead of India's independence state tomorrow, adding more to the suffering of the oppressed people of the Held Valley. The occupied territory has been in a lockdown since the Narendra Modi government's decision to scrap the special status of Jammu and Kashmir by abrogating Article 370 of the Indian Constitution earlier this month. The communications blackout continues on the 10th successive day today as the authorities keep the internet and telephone links snapped and have imposed strict restrictions on the media. The Indian government had snapped television, telephone and internet links to prevent demonstrations against its decision of revoking Article 370. The Afghan president, Ashraf Ghani, has said the United States and the Taliban negotiators have completed the eighth round of peace talks in Qatar. Clarifying the Afghan government's stance on peace talks with the Taliban, he said they are expected to sign a peace agreement which will provide the grounds for American troops' withdrawal and reduction of violence in Afghanistan. 
Ashraf Ghani said a joint statement of peace agreement will be announced, which will define a legitimate Afghan government that will represent the people of Afghanistan. In Afghanistan, 13 militants were killed in Shawali Kot district of southern Kandahar province today, according to police spokesman Jamal Baraksi. Fighting aircrafts targeted a Taliban hideout and struck while they were gathered. And finally, cricket, the second test match of the five match series of ICC World Test Championship between Australia and England begins at Lords today. Australia lead the series 1 0. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And you can also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.